So Gravity was released last Friday, so I want to know how long this has been in the making for and what your inspiration was behind it. Uh, we recorded the song, the first riff for it, I wrote about a year ago and we started jamming it in Brady's bedroom. So like half the album really come together, us in the room and the other half I sort of bought an idea and we worked on that. So this one we all really worked together organically and it was one of the first times we'd done that and it just came out so well, it just kept building and yeah, we're stoked on it. It's probably my favourite song we've ever written. The Homecoming Tour is going to start in early December, so I guess I want to know what your best tour memory has been. I, I don't know if it's a tour memory, but this is more of a uh, a night out after the tour memory. Um, yeah, Sean, Sean is a very cheap man, and he um, what, what was it? He he got a concession ticket um, on the, online for us oh, to go to yeah. a comedy show. And we were like, yeah, no, it, it'll all be fine. And then we rocked up to this comedy show and they're like, oh, you got your concession IDs. And we're like, no. So I think that's my, but I had a great time and I saved a whopping $3. So thanks for that, Sean. If you were to sit under a table and listen to any two people talk, who would they be? I would love to sit under a table of you two talking I about me. I was going to say the exact same thing. I would love to hear what you have to say. Yeah, I'd love to know what you think of me, honestly. But Brady just wants to sit under the table to be close to me. If you could be a part of any band other than Short Stack, what would it be? If I could be a part of any band other than Short Stack, I would jump at the chance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really liking Queen lately, so if it was at all possible, I'd definitely join Queen. I, I would say Blink-182 just because I think they'd be really fun. Yeah. I'm going to go My Chemical Romance. Serious question, who would win, Batman or Spider-Man? Okay, so this is going to be long. So we have to think about, like, there are so many different scenarios. So let's go with Batman has weak prep time. Is Spider-Man webs from the arms or has he created the mechanical things? Yeah, it's mechanical. Okay, well, first thing Batman have to do is have to get EMP to take out the mechanical things. So Spider-Man can't swing anymore. Yeah? Next, you'd have to get the spider senses, so there'd have to be some sort of sonar thing. And then there's super strength. So as soon as he got rid of the web and the spider senses, it's just the strength. I would say the Spider-Man would have come prepared and brought his Batman repellent spray. And it's just over in like three seconds. You've really overthought this whole concept, haven't you? Yeah. Like, that's all I do. Okay, great. Well, thank you for answering my questions. Awesome. Thank, thank you. you so much for coming in. You're really good, Georgie. <laughs> you did my job. A big thank you to Rimmel London for giving Georgie the chance to come and have a chat with Short Stack today and keep your eyes peeled at This Is Amplify for more chances to get up close and personal with the stars. Hello, it's Nick Kelly here. Welcome to Amplify Now on the Rimmel Hot Seat with Short Stack. Hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome, guys. Thank you for having us. It is a pleasure to be here, Mr. Kelly. I'm so glad. Congratulations on your brand new album. It's called Homecoming. It is. Thank you. It got released the other day and it's doing surprisingly well. I'm still like waiting to go to my parents' house and find a couple thousand copies in the garage. Um, Celeste wants to know, do you want to be remembered for the stack as the new blackface? I think the older I get, the, the more I kind of like it. Like there's a band out at the moment and they're called The Struts and they're from the UK mm -hmm. and they look very similar to what we used to look like. Yeah. And I looked at it and I was like, wow, that's so cool. And I sort of missed that we had that kind of thing. Yeah. So like... But you've kind of evolved it into your own kind of more, something that makes more sense for you guys at the moment. Definitely. And the way that we looked at it, it wasn't like, oh, we, we had crazy hair. It was like, oh, let's let's market ourselves like this and let's let's do that. It was like, it's genuinely just what we look like. Like, I went to school looking like that. I think at the end of the day, though, but I think any band would rather be known for their music rather than their look. Who are some of your favourite artists at the moment? I know, um, Sean, you were mentioning Halsey. Yes. How do you actually really like Halsey? Sergeant Boner for Halsey. Did she write it all herself? Yeah. Like, it sounds... I don't know, she's sort of in that same sort of atmosphere as Taylor Swift and Katy Perry, but... It's just so much more authentic. I've been listening to um, like the iTunes chill station, like a lot of chill music. <laughs> iTunes and you? chill. Well, it's it's like <laughs> we, we listen to so much rock music naturally uh, to to you know in, influence ourselves. So uh, it's really nice. I've never really had like types of music to actually make me feel relaxed, which is uh, really refreshing. I think. Yeah. Anastasia on Twitter at this is Amplify wanted to know uh, what's your favorite song on Homecoming. Do you have one? Anastasia. Anastasia. Um, <laughs> I I really like them all to be honest. Like except for a couple, I'm like ah, they're not as good as the other ones. <laughs> but no, no. But I'm like I'd say probably Homecoming is my favorite. I guess. I'd say Bambi. 
Like Gravity, I think that's the best song we've ever written. I really, really like Gravity. Thanks. It's very I, good. When we wrote it, we were like, yeah, we're on top of this. And Best Jogara wanted to know, where do you see the band in two to five years' time? Because that's going to be like 13 years into your career Jeez. as Short Stack. When we released this record, it was so much fun. Like, we haven't released an album in five years. So it's like, oh, wow, this is what it feels like to release a record. And it's, it's fun, isn't it? Like, so, I don't know, I think... We want to bring the next one out really quick. How's the reaction been so far? Have you found it to be overwhelmingly positive? Yeah, we're actually, it's surprising we're yet to hear anything negative, even from like older people who are like, oh, actually, that's pretty good. Like starting to turn them around, like giving up on us and be like, yeah, no, I'm not into that anymore. Like, wow, that's actually a decent that's record, awesome. which is so great to actually hear. I want to hear hate. We we feed off the hatred. <laughs> we love it. I mean, but none of it. You've probably had enough hatred in your career we so have. far to last a lifetime. We have. This is Short Stack. They're hanging out with us. And thank you so much for doing so. It's been thank lovely. You. Thank you.